So, final race from Fairy House is the second leg of the Moors Millions, over four miles and three furlongs. Looking to qualify for that final. It's 0 to 140. So, top weight, Xander Du Star for Jim Murray, also looking for a three timer. Eyes of the World for Leon Van Rensburg, Night, National Nightmare for Joshua Sutherland. Ham Slave for David Ladd, along with Close Nosed. Cherry Kino and Calmintha for John Morgan. Debanche Man for Alex Cherry. Compact Bonnie for James Shea. La Banzi for Craig Beckworth. Set the Trend for Paul Rhodes. Bird on the Lawn for Darren Thompson. Chrysalis Future for James Shea. Dictate Ross for Martin Needham. Opponents Advantage for Darren Thompson. Anaheim for Paul Rhodes. Blue Penny for Martin Needham. Take the Long Road for Joshua Sutherland. Zami Thinkar for Ponty Paul Racing. Victory Heights for David Hooley. Maritza for Thomas Rogers. Inflation Stamp for Stu Gray. Inquistress Wink for Hems, catching over hassle for Thomas Rogers and Blanche Niege for Alex Cherry makes up 25 looking to qualify here over the 4 miles and 3 furlongs grand national distance a few of them have got wide out there all want to shuffle over towards the fence as we wait for a John Morgan front runner to take it up into the first of 26, oh and he's gone Oh, in fact, they're both gone. Callum Minther and Cherry Kino, both gone for John Morgan at the first. You'll be pulling your hair out, mate. Unlucky. Frustration. So, we've lost... Uh, we go over the second. They all managed to stay on their feet. A few mistakes all round. Eyes of the World was poor over that one. So, it's set the trend that's got the lead. It's going to set the trend. Lead from here, from catching over Hassel. The outside of that is National Nightmare against the Fences Inflation Stamp and the Black Silk Green Sash. That wide is Anaheim, Paul Rhodes, and the first of the grey, Xanadu Star, the top weight. It's followed through by Opponent's Advantage. We get to the third, the leaders are over it. There's everybody else, they'll manage to take that a little bit better. The rest of the horses are pretty close together. The widest of all is Blue Penny for Martin Leadham out there in the Red Silks, Yellow Cap. Just at the rear is Eyes of the World and Blanche Niche. As they all get over that. Some slow jumping, but plenty of racing. Well, it's getting a little bit detached, which is a bit of a shocker, is Eyes of the World for Leon Van Rensburg. But as I always say, I'm surprised if it's anywhere near there at the end. So we're being led by Set the Trend from National Nightmare in second. Anna Wyam's third. Catching over Hassel is four. And Zamadou Star is five. Inflation Stamp is six. Opponent's Advantage and Chrysalis Future fight out seven and eight. And they're a length or so away just from Take the Long Road. And we've got Closed Nose, Compact Bonnie in there. Inquistus Wink. And then a couple of Greys, which is Dictate Rose. Actium Slaves, he'll go over that. A couple of mistakes. One that made the worst mistake was opponent's advantage, and he drifts back. But up front, National Nightmare has joined Set the Trend now. These two are neck and neck. They're a length and a half away from Anaheim. We'll catch him over Hassel. Then we do Star the Grey and Top Weight. Be surprised if you can win off Top Weight here. Oh, we've lost another one there. This time it's Eyes of the World that's gone. Oh no, and catching over Hassel. Oh, very confusing. The eyes of the world will unseat his jockey. Catching over Hassel went. So we're down four now. The world wasn't jumping particularly well. But National Night Hair. Night now. Night Hair. <laughs> Joined by Set the Trend and Anaheim. The two Paul Rose horses fighting with Josh Sutherland. Then Jim Morgan, Xanadu Star. And Chrysalis Future. Side of that is Inflation Stamp, an opponent's advantage. Wider of those is Take the Long Road and Zami Thinkar. And Compact Bonnie, close nose up against the fence, the grey, Dictate Ross. Oh, we've lost another one there. This time it's Chrysalis Future. He's a fall up and out of the race. It's James Shea. Lucky, you've got another one in here. As we get to the ninth, we'll get over that. Poor mistake there by Ectiarm Slave for David Robinson towards the rear. The ones that are the rear are Bird on the Lawn and Blanche Niche. Just in front of those are Debanchi Man and Blue Penny out wide. They get to the tenth of ditch. We've all got over that. But up front, this National Nightmare has gone on by a couple of lengths now. And Anaheim and set the trend, and they're a further three lengths away from Xanadu Star. Followed through by Take the Long Road Inflation Stamp Opponents Advantage out wide is La that Dictate Ross the Grey. To get to the 11th, the leaders are over it. Stake there by the Grey, Dictate Ross, pept on landing. So we're two and a half miles still to go, and through the first two miles, 
It's National Nightmare that leads us by length and a half from Anaheim and set the trend. There are further three or four lengths away from Xanadu, Star and Take the Long Road. Inflation stamp and opponent's advantage. Sammy Think are out wide with Le Benzi. Benzi, Le Benzi, Le Benzi, Le Benzi. We've got Maritza in between those horses. They get to the 12th. Leaders are over it. As is the rest. We're down five. It's still National Nightmare that leads them. I'm set the trend in Anaheim. They've been you one, two, three pretty much throughout. So they get to the 13th. The leaders are over it. Inflation stamp was slow over that one. It's not mid pack. And it's still Bird of the Lawn and Blue Penny has gone over a little bit closer to the route. But the grey Inquistress, or no, not Inquistress Wink, Hepatrim slaves the grey Inquistress Wink for Hems is at the rear. And with Blanche Niche, it's still up front, it's National Nightmare. I'm set the trend in Anaheim. And Xanadu star an opponent's advantage as they get to the 14th. He has jump it well. So I jump at the rear brain, Quistress Wink. But we've still got two miles to travel. So there's plenty of racing to be had. Anything can still win it from here. So we get to the 15th. Leaders over it again. A little bit of better jumps. Poor jump by Burr Blue Penny at the rear. Made a mistake as we go past the winning post for the last time. Circuit to go and another nine fences to take. So it's National Night now, a long time leader from Set the Trend and Anaheim. Then Xanadu Star opponents of Arch and take the long road. The grey dictate Ross close nose up against the fence out wide. Le Banzi inflation stamp between those. The green silks of Compact Bonnie. Then the first of David Hughes Victory Heights. Then Blanche Niche pushing through and Maritza up against the fence. The other grey that's trying to make up a little bit ground is Ectrium Slave. Wider of that is Inquist Rink as I get to the 16th. They all get over that. They stream over it. They're starting to get a little bit strung out he here now. A mile and a half to go, and it's National Nightmare still leading from Set the Trend in Anaheim. Then a do star still four or five lengths from those. Opponents of Bargen take the long road. Closed nose moved up well now. And the grey still wide is Dictate Ross. Le Pan is E for Great Beck being wider. They get over the 17th. They will take that. When they stepped over it, there was Blue Penny. And we've lost Zami Thinkar. I didn't see that one go for Grand Clutter, but unlucky. Anything car's gone as well. Some six fallers over this four miles and three. And they will take the 18th. A couple of sticky landings, but National Nightmare being joined now by Set the Trend in Anaheim. Take the long roads, moved into fourth on his own. He's followed through by about a length away from the opponent's advantage and closed no. He's up against the fence, still running well as Xanadu Star, the first of the greys. Wide greys dictate Ross, and they're followed through by Labanzi and Inflation Stamp as they're on three off. Xenoph Xenophobia? Xanadu Star, Xenophobia. Hit Xanadu Star, they've made a mistake of that one. But up front is now National Lightning that takes it on again. As it goes over the 20th, we're still going to have six to jump. And it's still National Nightmare now. From Anaheim set the trend, take the long road to join. So it's two Paul Rhodes' horse up against two Josh Sutherland's horse. Being pushed down there, out of the pack now. Opponents of Arch and Dictate Ross to try and make up some ground. The Banzi's still there, closed nose. They get to the ditch 21st, they're all over that. So with five from home. And it is National Nightmare. Being joined by its table mate, take the long road now. As Anaheim and set the trend, the one that's joined those leading pack is Opponents of Vantage and Dictate Ross. They're about a length away from the Running on Labanzi, closed nose and Maritza out wide. Oh no, wider still is Inquistress Wink as they get over the 22nd. They're all over that. So the lead now is up for Take the Long Road from National Nightmare, Anaheim, and Set the Trend. But they're all getting a bit closer order here now. But it's Take the Long Road from National Nightmare, Anaheim, closed nose moving well on the outside, moving up against inside Flint's inflation stamp as we come down to the final five. And it is Take the Long Road from National Nightmare, Anaheim. Behind. Closed nose, inflation stamp still making up good ground. Bird on the lawn and opponents are under advantage, still trying to run on. But they go over the 23rd, so four from home with three just to jump. And it's take the long road from close nose, inflation stamp running on. The one given way is now National Nightmare. We've lost both Paul Rhodes' Anaheim and set the trend, but it's take the long road that leads. Inside the final half mile, mistake there by inflation stamp just as he was making up some good ground, but it's take the long road. Take the long road leads by about four now. From Bird on the Lawns and a new star, the top weight on the outside. If he wins from there, I'll eat my hat. Uh, 
up against the fences, closed nose, inflation stamp doesn't look like he's got anything left, trying to get out of the pack his opponent's advantage, but they've got a lot to do to catch this leader as we come down to the final quarter mile with just two to jump, it's take the long road, leads him into the plain one from Bird on Long, takes it well, Bird on Long was a little bit slower, closed nose didn't jump it well, Xanadu Star still running on, opponent's advantage, but it's take the long road as we come down to the final furlong with one to jump, the jockey cheekily looks round, he gets over the last from Bird on Long in second, running on still well as Xanadu Star and closed nose, but it's going to be take the long road as we come inside the final half furlong, we have taken the long road, it's four miles and three furlongs, take the long road, throws down his national grand national credentials here, comfortably takes it from Berlin along in second, opponents aren't in advantage was third, close nose was fourth, Z Xanadu style did well for top weight coming in fifth for Jim Murray, so it's a good win there for Josh Sutherland, we take the long road. Bird on the lawn in second and opponents advantage, both Darren Thompson horses. Close nose for David Robertson was fourth. Remind me who was fifth. I think it was Xanadu Staff and Jim Murray. It certainly was. So it is take the long way for Josh Sutherland Quas qualifies for the Moors Millions, as well as Bird on the Lawn and Opponents Advantage. And Xanadu close nose for David Robertson was fourth, and Xanadu Staff at Jim Murray did well to get on fifth off top weight. I'll hand you over to Martin.